Hello and welcome to Sauropsis classes. Here in this video, I am continuing the solve of the paper 2015 for the, your IGIDR. And I will be starting with the question number 5 in this video. So this is IGIDR year 2015. So the question says that which of the following statements is or are false with respect to the multiplier of investment and government purchase. So with the lump sum taxes, the balance budget multiplier is 1. If the tax revenue is made a function of income, then the multiplier of the government purchase G falls as compared to the case where the tax rate were assumed to be lump sum. Okay. And the third one is the tax revenue is a mere function of income. Then the planned investment rises as compared to the multiplier of planned investment rises as in the case of the as in the case where tax are assumed to be lump sum. So first I want to solve it with by generally solving it. So suppose it is a closed economy. So we have y equals to c plus i plus g. So I am first dealing with the case of lump sum tax. A plus B Y T disposable income Y plus G A plus B Y minus T I G taking total differentiation in both side so D I plus D G so we have this and have this so now in the case of balance budget multiplier d d t equals to dg for balanced budget so 1 minus b di dy sorry is equals to 1 minus b dg assuming di equal to 0 investment is fixed I equals to I bar. Therefore, dy dg is definitely equals to 1. So, option A is correct. Now, if I were not fixed, but if, if I was not equals to I bar, but g equals to g bar then dy by di is equals to b dt divided by 1 minus b moving to the case for the tax as a proportion of income so y equals to c plus i plus g y equals to a plus b y t plus i plus g y equals to a plus b y minus y t so a proportional tax plus g again taking total differentiation so dy dy times t minus y times dt plus di plus dg so 1 okay just rearrange it first so we have b minus b t dy minus of by dt plus di plus dg so if i take this this side so i have 1 minus b plus bt dy minus of by dt plus di plus dg now assuming balance budget so dt equals to dg balanced budget therefore we have 
and i equals to i bar so di equal to 0 then it we get 1 minus p plus bt and here in this side we get 1 minus by dg so clearly this is not equals to 1 so this is not equals to 1 so option 2 is also correct and if we want to calculate the investment multiplier it will be something like this so assuming g equal to g bar then dy di equals to minus p y dt divided by 1 minus p plus bt so in the previous case this is for the proportional tax where tax is a function of income and in the previous case for the lump sum tax for the lump sum so for the lump sum tax it was d d y d i equals to minus of b d t divided by 1 minus b so we can see there is a positive term added in this portion so obviously this part is lower than this right so in the option c we get so in the option c option in the option c we get just the opposite of this so therefore c is wrong and option 5 is the correct option so this is the answer of the question 5 so i have answered the question 5 i hope this is helpful for you guys and until next time thank you